We are on lesson um, 11.3 from topic 11. Today's goal is I can use a model to subtract three digit numbers. Um, the model that we're going to be using is the place value chart. Um, because they're three digit numbers, there's going to be three different columns, the hundreds, tens, and the ones place for these equations. Another term that you're going to hear a lot is the word unbundle. Um, this is something that we've already done before, but we're going to be using it with three digit numbers instead of just two digit numbers like in the past. So in order to make a model, which just means like make a picture, um, we're going to have to have an equation and we're going to be using the place value chart. So I'm going to go ahead and put my place value chart um, and then I'm going to write the equation. The first one we're going to start with is 485 minus 236. So remember, we've got our hundreds, the tens, and the ones place. I'm going to start with the 485. Um, with us, we just like putting circles, especially for doing subtraction when we mark off that we've taken some away. The circles are much easier than using um, the squares that your book wants you to do or the quick tens in the tens place that look like this. These take a really long time, so we're not using those, we're using the circles. So 480, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, Then we've got 5 in our ones place. We're going to be taking away 236, and I can already see that we're going to have to unbundle one of our tens. We've got to take away 6 from the ones place, but there are not 6 in the ones. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to unbundle. So this is a 10. So the 10 is worth 10 ones. And when I'm making my 10 ones that I'm unbundling, I like to put it in a circle. It's just so when I'm rechecking my work, I can make sure that I put 10 inside of that circle. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now I can take away the 6 from the ones place. Um, cool stuff. Once you put them in rows of 5, um, you can just mark off 5. And then there's one more. So 5... There's six that are taken away. Now we're going to take away three from the tens. Be careful. The reason that we're attaching this together is to remember that's the one that we unbundled. So we don't want to count that when we're taking away the three from the tens. So one, two, and three. Now we're taking away two from the hundreds. Check and see what's left. So remember, these ones are gone. We're not going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine in our ones place four in the tens, and it's easy to see that because we've got the circles, and two in the hundreds. So 249. And we used our place value chart. We did have to do an unbundle. Um, so in order to check to see if this is correct, we need to say 249 plus 236 and double check that it equals the 485. Um, so we're going to just quick add these things together. We've got eight in our tens and four in our hundreds. So 485 matches with the 485. So we know that 249 is the difference between those numbers. This is using the place value chart. All right, we've got another one. I got it. Um, 326 minus 143. What is going on with that number four? All right, so here is our place value chart. We've gotten that written on our paper already, so that's pretty lucky for you. Um, our hundreds, our tens, and our ones place. We're starting with the 328. So there's 320. That actually says 326. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the first step is to take away three from the ones place. One, two, three. All right, that was easy. Now I need to take away four from my tens. I don't have four in my tens place. So I'm gonna have to unbundle one of my hundreds. Um, one of the hundreds is worth 10 tens. Remember, draw your circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tens is equal to one in the hundreds. Now I can take away four from my tens place. Notice how, tr how clean I'm trying to make this. Um, so that it's really easy to see when I'm looking back to count how many open circles that I have. Um, and now I'm going to re remove one from my hundreds place and check out what I have left. So we've got three in our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
eight over here in the tens, and one in my hundreds place. So 183 is the difference between these two numbers. Um, sometimes you can't see your handwriting that good. It's always important to double check your work. So we're going to check with addition. 183 plus 143 should equal 326. So that's 6. We've got 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry up my 1. 326 matches with 326. So we know that that's correct. Not all of these problems have you unbundle. I want you to, to see some more um, when it is doing the unbundling. So it's really important for you to pay attention to these. Um, let's do one more. 363 minus 127. Our hundreds, our tens, and our ones, 363. So three in the hundreds, six in my tens, and three ones. I can already see we're going to have a problem because we don't have enough in our ones place. We only have three and we need more. So we're not going to just draw all of those over here. We've got to unbundle. So take one of those tens and turn it into ten ones. Now we can take away seven from the ones place. Four, five, six, seven. Notice I'm also working backwards for that. That's kind of um, just an easy way to make sure that you don't miss something. Um, we've gotten our seven taken away. We've got to take away two from our tens. Don't count that one. One and two. And we've got to take one from our hundreds place. I like starting over in the ones place before um, counting how many are left over here in the hundreds just to keep myself on track. So we've got six over here in the ones, three in my tens, and two in the hundreds. So 236 is the difference between these two. Sometimes I might make a mistake. Check your work. So 236 plus 127. I'm going to run out of some space. 6 plus 7 is 13. We've got 6 in the tens. 363 does match with this, so I'm going to just put a little check mark next to that. Um, while I have your attention, please have your workbook out. Have your workbook pages out for today's assignment. Um, there's a picture of a girl playing at the beach. What I want you to draw on there is a crab. I'm going to show you how to draw the crab real quick. I'm going to just try to, try to draw some like little claws, draw a body that's kind of like an oval, and then I'm going to put four legs on each side. This is my best crab. I don't know how many legs that crabs really have. That's just what I'm imagining in my head. Two little beady eyes that are poking out like that. That needs to go on your paper. So if you need to pause and quick like try to figure out how to draw that, that's how I think a crab looks. I'm not really 100% sure, I'm not an artist, but this is my best try. Draw this crab on your page. All right, so back to our unbundling and our using the place value chart to solve some equations. Um, I did want to bring back a chart where you have to gather some information. I think that this is really important, um, especially when, when being able to get ready for third grade. Um, I wanted to have you find the difference between Estina and Ezom and their house points. So first you would have to create your equation. So how many more points does Estina have than Ezom? So I'm going to start with Estina, 326, and I'm going to subtract how many points that Ezom has. That'll tell me what the difference between the two of them will be. Um, I do want you to use um, the place value chart because that's our goal. And there might be a time where you have to unbundle. You'll figure that out as you're solving. Hundreds, tens, and ones. I want you to put this on your paper. Um, you should have a scrap piece of paper during this time. So go ahead and push pause, and then we'll come back and review it. Alright, so back with this problem, 326 minus 238, I'm going to start by writing my 300s, my 2 and my 10s, and 6 in the 1s. So 326, I'm going to take away 238, 
going to start by taking away 8 from the 1s, but I only have 6. I have to unbundle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can take away my 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we've taken away our 8. Now I have to take away 3 from my 10s place. Oh my golly, I have a problem again. I'm going to have to unbundle from my 100s. There's two unbundling things you have to do for this equation. So it's a little bit tricky, but I wanted you to practice. And we're going to have the review so that you can make sure you did it correctly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we've got 11 here. We only need to take away 3. 1, 2, 3. Now I need to take away 2 from the hundreds. Ah, I have 0 in my hundreds place now. All right, let's check out what we have remaining. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And we don't have anything in my hundreds. I don't have to write that up here. I'm just going to write the 88. 326 minus 238 has a difference of 88. Remember, you need to check with addition. So 238, I'm going to just do a scoot. And I hope you did this on your paper when you were solving. 8 plus 8 is 16. I've got 12 here. 326 does match with 326. So 88 is the correct difference between these two. Um, that's all I've got for you today. I do want you to continue using your place value chart. Make sure you're doing it the way that we had discussed, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.